Opened on May 1, 1913, with 16 beds and 9 physicians, Paul Kimball Hospital was Ocean County's first hospital. By the Roaring Twenties, the hospital had reached capacity, but with the help of the community, funds were raised to expand the hospital by 40 beds. In the 1930s, two major disasters pushed the physicians, nurses, and staff at the hospital to their limit. The fire on the SS Morrow Castle off the coast of Long Branch brought a wave of patients through the hospital's doors. Only a few years later, Kimball staff was again propelled into action when the Zeppelin Hindenburg caught fire docking at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station. Dr. Raymond Taylor, chief surgeon at Kimball, was the first physician on the scene. The dirigible still burning and coming down, and the patients were lying on, on the ground. It was an awful time. Patients were taken to Paul Kimball. The medical team at Paul Kimball Hospital treated burns and broken bones, performed surgical procedures, and saved the lives of 33 people. Kimball was the first hospital, uh, oh, let's see, from Freehold uh, to Atlantic City. There was not any other hospital until Paul Kimball came along. These two events began a narrative that still holds true today. In times of great challenge and change, Kimball's physicians, nurses, and staff rise to the occasion. 76 years later, when Hurricane Sandy devastated the Jersey Shore, that spirit of answering the call was evident. The response to Hurricane Sandy was absolutely terrific on the part of our staff. Many of our staff left their homes, left their families, left very difficult personal situations in order to come to work. And what I found absolutely amazing was the fact that in all the days that uh, we experienced uh, Hurricane Sandy, we didn't have anybody uh, call in sick or, or not be able to come to work. Everybody came to work. The population in Ocean County spiked in the 50s, and Kimball doubled its capacity in 1959. In 1963, Kimball welcomed the leadership of Joseph Segala, who set the standard for what we now know as patient-centered care. He renovated rooms with patient comfort in mind, opened medical clinics outside of the hospital to reach out to the medically indigent, and was the first in the nation to create a full-time patient advocacy position. His number one project was patient care. He would always put that first on the list. He just felt that everything that, that was done was for the patient. The excellent nurses and doctors that he that were on staff, he felt they were the best and they needed to be the best. Through the years, Kimball was the first to accomplish many medical milestones. It was the first hospital in Ocean County to perform vascular surgery, implant pacemakers, perform total joint replacement surgery, and provide mental health services. In 1984, the hospital again responded to the growing needs of the community with the largest expansion project in its history, the construction of the Heritage Pavilion, which today houses all inpatient units. Everybody was excited about it because before that it was just a small community hospital and it uh, grew substantially at that time. In 1994, the community Kimball Healthcare System was announced bringing together the Toms River and Lakewood hospitals to form an integrated healthcare delivery system with 954 beds. Two years later, both hospitals joined the St. Barnabas Healthcare System, which today is known as Barnabas Health. The merger back uh, in 1996 um, was a major milestone in the uh, development of Kimball Medical Center. It really allowed us to do many things, access to more specialized services that are offered through other hospitals, um, within the system. And it also gave us uh, access to a lot of higher level administrative services that we may not ordinarily be able to afford being a small community hospital. Michael Mimoso became Kimball's president and chief executive officer in January 2012 and immediately implemented a new strategy to improve healthcare services in the community by partnering in various areas with Monmouth Medical Center, a highly regarded teaching hospital also in the Barnabas Health System. To enhance Kimball's pediatric services, Kimball's nationally recognized emergency department works in collaboration with the Children's Hospital at Monmouth Medical Center. While most cases are handled here in Lakewood, 
patients can be seamlessly transferred to the Children's Hospital in Long Branch when necessary. Kimball also joined forces with Monmouth to open the Jacqueline M. Wilentz Breast Center at Kimball Medical Center, providing the women of Ocean County convenient annual mammogram screening and densitometry services while giving them access to the diagnostic and treatment specialists at one of the nation's very best breast centers. Kimball Medical Center is an outstanding community hospital that can derive real benefit from its sibling Monmouth Medical Center, for instance, which is a teaching hospital. So the programs we have at each of our facilities share clinical staff and programmatic strength, bringing better care to all of our consumers. Through its ability to grow and adapt, through a legacy of community support, through the second to none dedication of employees to run toward, not away from danger, Kimball Medical Center today celebrates 100 years. Under the leadership of Barnabas Health, Kimball continues to reposition itself with a steadfast focus on providing the very best possible health care services to our community. Kimball Medical Center is a Barnabas Health facility. Barnabas Health. Life is better healthy.